The Launch of the Investment Case for Mental Health in the Philippines The Investment Case for Mental Health is a country-specific assessment used to provide the economic rationale for investment in mental health. This analysis also details the national impact that scaling up investment in prevention and treatment has in the long run. This investment case for mental health can be used to provide evidence of the benefits of scaled-up intervention to the Ministry of Finance and other relevant non-health sectors and as an advocacy piece aimed at policymakers on the importance of action on mental health. The economic burden of mental health conditions can be viewed as an iceberg, with the top and visible part representing direct costs including government healthcare expenditures and disability payments. In the Philippines, government expenditure accounts for 4% of the burden of mental health conditions. The bottom and biggest part of the iceberg represents the indirect costs including productivity losses due to absenteeism, presenteeism, and premature death. These hidden costs are 24 times higher and equate to 66.2 billion Philippine pesos mainly due to loss of productivity due to premature death. The economic analysis consists of four steps. Estimating the economic burden of mental health conditions, assessment of the health impacts of interventions, costing of interventions, and analysis of return on investment. The analysis uses three main tools, the mental health economic burden model, the One Health tool, and an Excel-based ROI model. The total economic burden of the mental health conditions on the Philippine economy is 68.9 billion pesos. Government health care expenditure represents only 4% of all mental health-related costs, a minor proportion of the economic burden. In the Philippines, the investment value of seven intervention packages were assessed, psychosis, bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety disorders, epilepsy, alcohol use disorders, and population-based prevention intervention. The results of the investment case for the Philippines provide evidence-based opportunities to reduce the adverse health, economic, and other consequences of mental health conditions through preventive and treatment-based interventions. The greatest impacts were observed for interventions for epilepsy and depression, followed by clinical interventions for anxiety disorders and population-based interventions. Clinical interventions for bipolar disorder incurred the largest estimated costs because of the multiple care and support needs and the higher estimated prevalence than other severe mental health conditions such as psychosis. With respect to both productivity gains and the social value of health over 10 years, the packages for managing and reducing the number of cases of epilepsy and depression have the highest ROIs. In summary, mental health conditions in the Philippines cost 68.9 billion pesos including 2.7 billion pesos in direct costs to the government and 66.2 billion pesos in indirect costs to the economy. The report concludes with five recommendations for actionable steps that the government can take to strengthen a whole-of-government, whole-of-society approach to mental health conditions and their consequences. Investing in all the modeled packages would save more than 26,000 lives over 20 years and return 3 million healthy life years over 20 years.